one. Hello, I'm Eleanor from the Greater Horseshoe Bat Project and this is a quick video showing you how to set up one of our Devon Bat Survey Bat Detectors. So this is the kit you'll get. Inside we've got um, instructions and survey sheets in here. We've got um, the microphone cable in here and the microphone. We've got the detector, we've got the batteries and spare batteries and a battery charger. And before you start you might want to check the batteries to see how good they are with our uh, battery checker here. And if they're running flat, then you'll want to charge them up with this and make sure you allow a few good few hours to do that because they can take up to six hours to charge. We've also got some SD cards in this box here. And we've also got an SD card reader. So you'll want to have a look at the SD card to check that there's no data on it before you put it into the detector. So the first thing you want to do is put your batteries into the bat detector. So the bat detectors we use are called SM4 bat detectors and how they work is they turn on just before sunset. They record any ultrasonic calls, so that's bat calls, cricket calls, any other high frequency sound and they record throughout the night and then turn off just after sunrise. So to put your batteries into the bat detector you want to open it up and then you want to press this little circle here. Make sure they're in properly and then close the lid. Now the next thing you'll want to do is put an SD card in. You want to put it in this way, into slot A here. All you do, gently press in until you hear a click. So the next thing you want to do is tell us where exactly you are in Devon. So you'll want to find out your grid reference and you can do that by visiting a website like gridreferencefinder.com. So once you've got your four figure grid reference, you turn the detector on. If it doesn't turn on straight away, you'll want to flick the switch to int and it should turn on. If it doesn't do that, check your batteries to check that they're in properly and if it still doesn't turn on you might want to press it to X again that means external power wait 10 seconds and then flick it back to int which means internal power and that should work so now it's turned on you'll get to the main menu and to input your grid reference you want to scroll down with these these arrows here to settings, press enter. You want to go down to location, press enter again. And the only thing you want to change is this prefix here because we've set the latitude and longitude ourselves to your nearest host centre. So to do that, you'll want to scroll to the right, just keep, keep pressing. And you'll just want to change these two letters here and these four numbers. So if we change to SY76, press up, and then 8, press down 7, that's all good. And to save that, you'll just want to press right one more time to go back. Now you can go back to the main menu. And you'll want to check the status of it to check everything's okay. See the SD card is empty. That all looks all right. So the last thing you want to do is just press schedule start and then that's ready to record. So the final thing you need to do now, very important, is plug in your microphone.
just make sure that the connections here match up with the connections here. So you press that in gently and then you see this grey thing here, you want to wind that to the right, press it in till it go, doesn't go any further and then you turn it around to the right. So that's all you need to do.